News and at 11 and streaming on CBS in Los Angeles, a plane carrying 240 Americans out of the coronavirus epicenter in China is now here in the U.S. The 767 jet arrived minutes ago in Anchorage, Alaska, and soon it will be headed here. Yeah, this is a live picture at that 767 jet sitting at Ted Stevens International Airport. The plane will refuel and stay on the ground for about four hours. It's scheduled to arrive at March Reserve Air Force Base early tomorrow morning. Everyone on board has been screened several times for any signs of the coronavirus. And CBS 2 Stacy Butler is live at the air base in Moreno Valley with the very latest. Stacy. Yeah, Pat and Jeff, this plane was originally expected to land at Ontario International Airport, but the big change, the big surprise announcement came late tonight. It was the chairman of the San Bernardino County Board of Supervisors who told us about it. Take a listen. I just want to let you know that CDC just let us know that the flight will be diverted to March Air Force Base. We were prepared, but the State Department decided to switch the flight to March Air Force Base for logistics that they have. The chartered flight out of Wuhan, China, carrying 240 U.S. consulate employees and citizens, including nine kids, was initially expected to land at Ontario International Airport tomorrow morning, far from the terminals filled with regular travelers. But now the San Bernardino County official is saying that the plane will be diverted to March Air Reserve Base instead. That's a big relief for passengers who had concerns about how health care workers and other travelers would stay protected from the deadly virus. That's what is concerning is like how is that separated from other people and made sure that it's really kept separate uh, because my understanding is as of now, we, there is no care for it. Meanwhile, at Ontario Airport tonight, those flying on China Airlines are masking up. This is for self-protection. So this is just prevention? Yeah, that's yeah. prevention. Prevention is better than cure. They're not taking any chances as the coronavirus continues to spread. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has issued a level three warning to avoid all non-essential travel to China. Over 130 deaths are reported in China and now more than 6,000 confirmed cases there. And there are now five confirmed cases in the U.S., one in Los Angeles and one in the Irvine area of Orange County. I have concerns just because I'm from Orange County and I, I heard the news today of where uh, this person was going to be um, or the places that this person was at and those are places that I frequent. And that chartered flight is expected to arrive here on base around 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's the latest from Moreno Valley. Back to you guys in the studio.